so f to hello everybody uh i have finally found a way to fix this error that people have been having i've gone onto forums and i finally fixed it because all you have to do okay the um it's called the fail to start app unknown error uh thing that people have been having and it's not I haven't really found anybody on YouTube or on forums that's been able to fix it so uh, I just decided you know what who knows steam best and I contacted steam support and they sent me this so I'm just gonna go through and show everybody how to do this on Windows XP Vista 7 and 8 Sorry Mac users, sorry Linux users. Actually, uh, Macs and Linux users, just read this. Just read this really quick. Pause the video and read it. And there you go. So pretty much what you gotta do is step one is just completely exit the Steam client. Now I didn't do that because I've already fixed this and I don't wanna go through the trouble of doing it again. Step one, completely exit the Steam client. Step two, open run. Now I don't know it tells you right here how to open run Windows key plus R but if you have run somewhere else like me you can just go like this um, after that you're gonna want to type steam colon dash slash slash flush config then press enter and you'll come up with the steam login don't do anything don't log in just restart your computer just from there so go to restart and click that. Um, after that, you're going to want to go into your folder, wherever you have Steam. Program files 80 times 86 is usually where it is. Go to Steam, click, go to go to the Steam file, click steam.exe or just steam click it click it and run it and after that it's going to want you to log in and uh, then you're done so yeah and then you'll and then you'll come up like this this is still not fixed afterwards you will have to verify game catch files so again for Windows XP users uh, actually, for, um, whatever, for Mac and Linux users, I'm not sure, it's not on here, but for, uh, XP users, read that, I don't have XP, so I'm not going to show you, uh, Vista 7 or 8 users, completely exit Steam, L uh, well, you have to actually click exit, but, right click on the shortcut that you use to launch Steam so uh, I have mine right here and then click and run as administrator and that will uh, bring you to the login page and then you go to whatever game you want whatever game is fucking up you go you click properties go to local files verify integrity of game catch now um, click that and it'll take maybe two to five minutes. It took me like five minutes for TF2. It might take uh, less time for smaller games like Quake or something. I don't know, Quake usually works for me though. And after that, after you're done uh, doing all of that, restarting your computer two times, everything I just showed you, it'll work. And you can trust me because I got this email directly from Steam support. And if you don't believe me, try it out for yourself. And if it doesn't work, dislike the shit out of this video. And say, it didn't work, noob, kill yourself. Or some shit like that. Whatever you want. Anything to show people that this doesn't work, even though it does. If it doesn't work, I don't know what your problem is. But it worked for me, and this is the only way I could find it to work. So, I hope this helped you. 
Uh, I'm Fritter. And uh, first tutorial video, by the way, it's kind of weird. I kind of just wanted to show this to everybody because I saw a bunch of people freaking out over it. So anyway, uh, I'm Fritter, and I'll see you later. Thanks.